Seattle, a worker at Seattle Tacoma International Airport stole a Horizon Air passenger airplane and crashed it into the Puget Sound in an apparent suicide attempt Friday night, authorities said. The Pierce County Sheriff's Department said the 29-year-old man acted alone. His condition after the crash was not revealed. There were no passengers on board. The aircraft was stolen about 8 p.m. Alaska Airlines said it was in maintenance position and not scheduled for a passenger flight. Ad choice advertising and read invented by Teeds get breaking news and alerts with our free mobile app. Get it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. This is not a terrorist incident, Sheriff's Department spokesman Ed Troyer said via Twitter. Air traffic controllers were in communication with the man, who identified himself as Rich, and tried to convince him to land at McCord Field. Authorities initially said the man was a mechanic but Alaska Airlines later said he was believed to be a ground service agent employed by Horizon. Those employees direct aircraft for takeoff and gate approach. I've got a lot of people that care about me, he told air traffic controllers. It's going to disappoint them to hear that I did this would like to apologize to each and every one of them. Just a broken guy, got a few screws loose I guess. Never really knew it until now, witnesses reported seeing the Bombardier Q400, a turboprop aircraft, perform a loop-the-loop -loop and nearly slam into Chambers Bay, all while being pursued by fighter jets. Troyer confirmed that two U.S. Air Force F-15s intercepted the plane within minutes of its departure from SeaTac, but they were not involved in its crash near Ketran Island. Pilots kept playing out of harm's way and people on ground safe, he said. Like our Facebook page for more conversation and news coverage from the Bay Area and beyond. Several questions remained unanswered Friday, including how the man gained access to the aircraft. Airport officials initially described the incident as an unauthorized takeoff, an airline employee conducted an unauthorized takeoff without passengers at SeaTac. Aircraft has crashed in South Puget Sound, the airport said via Twitter. Normal operations at SeaTac Airport have resumed, help is available. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline can be reached 24 hours a day at 800-273-8255. AD Quality Auto 360p 720p 1080p You might also like luxury shoppers love the privileges of the HSBC Visa, HSBC Bank 1 o'clock How Toshiba uses technology to shape a better world Toshiba APAC Malaysia Airlines MH370 Families hope for answers from Business Times 15 Arrested after raids on massage establishments and Straits Times The most popular airports in the world, ranked far and wide finally Financial planning. Your life, your way. Finally, Palo Alto. Arrest made in bizarre Safeway parking lot. MercuryNews.com. Daddy, I'm sorry, children begged as father cut. MercuryNews.com. California fires. Videos show how far biggest fires. MercuryNews.com. Three shot outside La Victoria in South San Jose. Ask Amy, my sister won't apologize for sleeping with my husband, and now she needs my help. 33-year-old man dies after crashing into road barrier in Tampanese Straits. Times picture perfect, most magnificent beaches in the world far and wide. Four countries Singaporeans must apply for visas for before visiting Money Smart California Fire Map. New wildfires close roads, campgrounds in Sierra Map of California's top 10 fires. Mendocino Complex becomes largest ever shark attack in China Mall Aquarium leaves six-year-old girl with Straits Times check out the largest cruise ships in the world far and wide suffering from the heat. Try Aircool. Aircool 24 California fires, see how smoke is spreading across the west ask Amy, I can't believe my own mom pulled this scam on us.